hi guys welcome back to my channel i am very very glad to be here today how are you guys doing good i know and i believe so much in that that you're very good guys i want to say thank you for always watching and viewing this video i appreciate it so much thank you guys you'll be my inspiration my encouragement you'll be my push you know you have been such a wonderful person and i love you so very much thank you for being part of my journey and part of my life thank you for those encouraging words i appreciate you so much guys i love you I yeah, really really appreciate it how do you even say someone is responsible or you see someone say no this is a sign of responsibility in this person or in that person to you what is responsibility is it about giving out the money as it's like someone is giving you money you feel that or you yourself you think when you provide what it's needed in the house or you give out money that is what makes you to be a responsible person either a responsible man or a responsible woman so let's talk about this guys because we all need to be responsible and we should define our being responsible right so as not to hurt yourself and people around you being responsible is not dressing well or dressing formal though some people can dress inappropriate you know like not dressing normal like corporate and they are very very responsible so that is why they say you don't judge a book by its cover though sometimes it's addressing so much about us. sometimes like um you go for an interview and see the way you dress it let's say you didn't fit in either this organization or into this corporation or something because the way you dress right because the way you are dressed is the way you are going to be addressed but you know sometimes people that might not even dress corporately are more responsible than those that dress corporately corporately rather before you could say someone is responsible you will be able to even say that person responsible by him or herself their imagery, their disposition, their reaction, their interaction to people around them. You could definitely see if this person is responsible or not. Now, responsibility at so many areas. So if you are not taking good care of yourself, if you are not accountable for yourself, if you cannot take decision on your own, if you cannot risk things, risk your life, risk yourself in achieving greater things, then you are not responsible. So there is no how you can launch out to other people to help them or to be responsible for them because you are not responsible for yourself in the first place. So responsibility is much more than giving people money or cashing out. No. Firstly, decision making shows and interprets and tell so much about your being responsible responsibility means taking right decision a responsible person should be able to decide and to date good decision it's just sometimes you take bad decision but we learn from it Learning from it makes you responsible because the next time you're going to take that decision or any other decision, you'll look back at where you made mistakes and you work those places out so that you could be successful this time around in your decision making. If you're a kind of person that you can't take your decision, you want people to tell you what to do, then I'm sorry to say you're not responsible. Take your decision. Don't be afraid or be scared of the mistakes you're going to make so that you know, every successful person make mistakes and they learn from their mistakes. So take the decision. A responsible person is responsible for every action taken so they don't give excuses. So if you want to know a responsible person, they don't give 
excuses. They take responsibility of what they do. They don't shift blames. They don't allocate blames. They don't say, ah, if you have done this this way before you come to me, you still don't have been like that. No. They take blame. They accept it. They work on it, especially even if you're a leader, they're a team leader or they're a leader. You see, a leader take responsibility. They don't give excuses so that they can learn from that. If you see someone that always gives excuses, why don't you do this? Because, because they give you every reasons for the excuses. Hey, beware. They are not, they might not be responsible. Let me say that. They might not be a responsible person. Because a responsible person takes responsibility of everything he or she does. The only book says, is anyone that wants to build a house that will not first of all sit down to count its cost. Why do you have to count your cost? Because you will not want to finish halfway. You want to finish. You will not want, you, you, you wouldn't want to stop halfway, rather, you want to finish up. So when you want to do something, you're not sitting down to count your cost before you do it. Counting your cost means you will have efficient and foreseen or, or foreseen the risk that is there. The, the in case if that are there and if there is, we should do it this way. Sit down, look at the risk involved, look at the way way out and how to sort it out. So a responsible person think before he or she does anything. If you're a second person that you're, you're is that carefree that you you do before you think, wow, you need to buckle up, you need to do more, you're not doing enough, because there is no how you do something without thinking, without cutting your cost, without planning, it just venture it, you just venture into it, you realize that at the end of the day, you will definitely not succeed or make it, because anything that comes away, the the winds, the 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 wind, the, 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 the storm that comes, you are not prepared for it. So when it comes, phew, you are falling. And it might take your time to stand up, to be at the feet, to, 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 to stand up again. So you need to count your cost before you do anything, anything. That's a sign of responsibility. You feel you need to get married and... You say that you are getting married because you just need children. You are getting married because everybody's getting married. You are of age. I am this age. I am, I am in my marriageable age. So I need to get married. But you are not prepared for it. You have not seen if, am I going to, am I really going to tolerate this and this and this? The family, am I really going to welcome them? Am I, am I, uh, did I have this temperament? Am I long suffering? You do not, you do not think about yourself, about the future of that family. You know, at the end of the day, anybody that comes your way, the ends. Part of being responsible is to be able to care for people around you. But first of all, care for yourself first because you can't give out what you don't have. You remember that. Yes. Care for people around you. Love yourself, have passion for yourself so you can love other people and have passion for them too. Don't be idle. Find something to do, no matter how small. Don't despise your little beginning. That is the sign of being responsible. <laughs> for you to be able to be proud of yourself, it's because you are responsible. If you're not responsible, your head will be bowed and you won't be able to even raise it up. Not to talk of you want to say you are proud of yourself. So, guy, okay. you need to be proud of yourself. And that is when you have something to do. Because you remember that an idle mind is a devil workshop. If you are not responsible, please don't be a leader. Because you are really going to destroy everything because you will be an opportunist yes so a leader is always a responsible person so set yourself in which area have, have you 
have you disguised to be responsible and you know inside of you and things you do makes you to be irresponsible there are some people that you are responsible outside but in your own home in your own family you are not responsible you dash out to give out to take care of people outside like but your own very very family your own immediate home your own immediate family you are not taking care of them and infidel is better than you so check yourself let me check myself and let us walk towards being a perfect person let us Walk towards being a better version and better person that we should be. Stop giving excuses. That is part of me. You take me like that. Stop saying it. You could be a better person. And so stop using that to keep it that. You have known me with it. That is me. That is me. It is not you. Change is constant. You can change. You can become a better person. So stop telling people that that is you. Do you know what? Or you're telling people, you're telling them that you're not responsible, you cannot change. Because a responsible person is the only person that can change. Responsibility is the key to success. Responsibility is the key to being great. So, let us live responsibly. Don't forget to subscribe, to comment, to give me a thumb up, and to share this video. Tell someone that knows someone that I've had about someone to watch this video and to subscribe because you know, you know, now we are sewing our together and we are becoming a better person together because you matter to this world, to people around you, and you must infect them with that goodness and that person that you are. I love you now and all this.